Hello everyone. Our today's topic is length. We will be learning about what length is and how we can measure it. Length means how long an object is. For instance, length of the pencil you write with, the length of your classroom door, the length of the writing board, etc. It also means distance that is how far a place is from another place. For instance, distance of the school from your home, distance of school playground from your classroom, distance between cities and countries, etc. How to measure length? We can measure length and distance in a number of ways and using various devices but the easiest method is to use our body parts as measuring tools. There are three such methods for measuring length which are known as hand span, foot span and cubit. These are used to measure lengths which are smaller. What does hand span mean? When you keep your hand flat with fingers and thumb stretched out like this, the length from the tip of your thumb to the tip of your little finger in a straight line is known as hand span. Let's measure the length of this shirt using hand span. 1 2 3 4 5 So, the length of this shirt is 5 hand spans. Now let's move on to foot span. The distance between the tip of the big toe to the heel of your foot is known as a foot span. How long do you think the floor of your classroom is? Let's measure it using foot span. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 So, the length of the classroom floor is 20 foot spans. Let's find out what cubit is. The length between your elbow to the tip of your fingers is known as a cubit. Let's see how to use cubit by measuring the length of the writing board in your class. 1 2 3 4 5 6 So, the writing board is 6 cubits long. Using these three body parts, you can measure a lot of things around you, such as your bed, 
table chair bicycle toys clothes etc so go measure and have fun we hope now you have learned about length if some concepts are not clear then replay the video again and again still if you have some questions then ask your teacher